Welcome everyone to Cinema Spotlight. Diving into Steven Spielberg's career, I'll be talking about War Horse. Stick to the end of this video and hear me out. Let me know if you loved, liked, or hated this film. Either way, I would love to know. With that said, we're going to jump right on in. War Horse is about a thoroughbred horse raised by a teenager on a farm. Albert names the horse Joey, and together they form a bond even when they are separated due to the events of World War I. Throughout the film, Joey withstands the trials and tribulations of war going through several different owners. To be honest, as I usually start these things, I had little to no interest in seeing this film. Yes, it's Steven Spielberg, and yes, I love him, but unfortunately, uh, a movie about a horse going through war and all that stuff it just did not appeal to me. And I would say, at the time, it was a war film. I had very little interest in those during that period. And as time went on, I did keep a small curiosity about it, and I let that grow. And of course, now here I am telling you I've seen War Horse and Steven Spielberg's filmography since I've started this series, and now it makes the perfect excuse to tell you that I've seen it and that I am actually happy that I watched it. And while a remarkable film, do not get me wrong on this, unfortunately, it did not speak to me as much as it should have. I'm pretty sure that it spoke to you, and I'm sure that if you are interested and you love animals and you love seeing animals, you know, withstand the test of time to the cruelties of the world and, and survive it all, then yes, this movie is for you. It is well made. Cinematography is gorgeous. And the story about a boy and his horse is potent throughout this two hour and 30 minute film. Like I said, I was just not invested as much as I should have been. And I would have said this is an all right film if it weren't for the third act. And that's where everything comes home. And I felt that it was well worth the wait. The real characters here are Joey and Albert, but Albert is only in the film in the first and third acts, so you are going through the story with Joey, and the story is told in different perspectives when the horse is not on screen. And there are plenty of sequences where the human characters take over. And there's even a war sequence where Joey is literally somewhere else unseen for a prolonged period of time. So this movie's not afraid to show you different angles of various different characters, which I still think adds to the, to the power of this film and what makes it quite unforgettable. But where I told you I was finally emotionally invested was by the third act. There is a sequence where Joey was running through the fields of no man's land and I gotta tell you, that was pretty exciting. And then the other characters I feel were memorable in their own right. Unfortunately some owners were short-lived than others but they all add something to the table which I felt really worked. They weren't forgettable characters. In the end, this film was made with enough pomp and circumstance to keep it from being forgettable. The tale of friendship is more potent than your regular friendship type film, and it all comes home by the end. For that, I liked War Horse, but wouldn't own on any platform. It's just kind of a one and done for me. Nothing wrong with that. All right, thank you all so much for watching. If you've seen War Horse, let me know down in the comments. Be kind, be reasonable, and let's talk. Like, share, and subscribe, and click that bell so you don't miss another video. With all that said, I hope you all have a fantastic and wonderful day. Until next time.